This latest development, which we'll bring you details on shortly, comes only two days after he became the first current or former president ever to be hit with a search warrant, and just hours after becoming the first ever to invoke his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination, which is a pillar of civil liberties, but which he used to say only mobsters do, until he took the fifth, and saying what only mobsters say whenever they're searched, in this case suggesting without anything at all to back it up, that federal agents planted evidence when they searched Mar-a-Lago on Monday, which then quickly became a Republican talking point. Or in the case of Lindsey Graham, Senator Graham, who sits on the Judiciary Committee and who clearly should know better, just another toxic idea to smile and not along with. We know they well, doctor Jesse, evidence. We know they yeah. plant evidence. Yeah, sure. We know they hide yeah. evidence. We know they lie. We know they leak. I mean, this is not anything new. This has been this has been years they've been doing this. We can't just say, oh, yeah. you know, we're waiting for the guy to come out and, and give a statement about what is predicated. I mean, what? These people are out of control, Senator. This country yeah. is at, like, well, we're on the edge of a cliff, man. I'm telling you, this country is at the edge yeah. of a cliff here. Now, again, that's a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, a champion, like the former president claims to be, of law, enforcement, of law and order. A lot of norms in the Republican Party obviously have been upended for, for a long time now, but, but the party, the Republican Party traditionally touted its dedication to law and order. So have you been surprised at all to hear, you know, to, or to see Lindsey Graham sort of smiling and nodding and agreeing with, you know, a Fox News uh, host uh, talking about planting evidence and, and other Republicans who are, you know, sounding as if, I mean, for obvious, very politi political reasons, I'm not sure they actually believe it, but who are all backing the former president and in, in his outrage. Yeah. Lindsey Graham, a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, he, he is a shameful, disgraceful, appalling coward. And he knows as well as anyone that, this, that it's ridiculous to assert that the FBI planted evidence here, okay? And he was just, it was just, it was just a remarkable display, even for him, of cowardice to just sit there and nod and say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He knows better. And they all know better. All they, the, 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 today, it's become fashionable in the Republican Party. It's disgraceful and appalling that, to, to basically attack law enforcement when it is going after people they like and to praise it when they go after people they don't like. That's not how the rule of law works. And Lindsey Graham knows that as well as anybody. But he's too, he's too, cowardly to admit it in this case. There's also, you know, threats of civil war from far-right groups, the Republican lawmakers comparing the FBI to the Gestapo, telling Americans they're, they're coming for you, too. It certainly seems dangerous for anybody to be using that kind of rhetoric, whether you're on the right or the left for whatever reason, given the violence we saw on January 6th. Right. I mean, we've had in the past uh, federal judges um, killed um, not that many, fortunately. Um, and we've had a very couple of years ago, there was a, a, a federal judge in New Jersey whose family member was killed. Um, we've never, but we, we are starting to see the potential for concerted attacks on the judicial system. And that kind of language, that kind of threat is, is, is one of the most dangerous things you can have in a democracy in a free country. It's one of the things that you see when democracies collapse. And we need to do everything we can to stand up for the judges. And remember, a lot of, you know, on January 6th, the reason why Trump's attempted coup failed was in part because of the judiciary, state and federal judges from coast to coast, um, Democrats and Republicans, including Trump appointees to the federal bench, stood up and struck down Donald Trump's meritless claims that he was, that, that there was election fraud. And it's just more important than ever in, this, in, 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 in the circumstances that we find ourselves today through the cowardice and the shamelessness of the Republican Party that we stand up for the rule of law and stand up for the people who enforce the law and apply the law, the judges. And thankfully, Congress, on a bipartisan basis, um, added to the protection of the judiciary recently in response to um, the threat made against Justice Kavanaugh. We need to do more of that and we need to make sure that anybody, that, that these threats are investigated thoroughly and the people who make them are prosecuted. Do you think this has really uh, strengthened the former president's standing in the Republican Party? I, I think it may have strengthened uh, 
his standing among certain parts of the party. I think that, again, what we're seeing is it provides another opportunity for people in the Republican Party to act like cowards. And that's one of the reasons why the Republican Party has be reached uh, the debased levels that it has reached today. Yeah. Um, that being said, I don't think, I don't think for most Americans who don't support Donald Trump blindly, which is why Donald Trump lost by seven and a half million votes in the last election, I think for most Americans, they are going to be appalled by these threats uh, to our democracy and to the judiciary and to law enforcement. Yeah. George Conway, appreciate it. Thank you.